Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 59 and I'm continuing stories from the life of the Buddha. <clears throat> now you might remember I was telling the story of the young man who lost his father and wanted to make sure his father made it to heaven. Now he had gone to the Buddha and insisted that the Buddha help him with this. And the Buddha agreed. He had the man, young man go home. The young man didn't sleep. He had to climb a tree, the tallest tree in the town, come down, bathe in a river by four in the morning, and then go into town to purchase a large earthen vessel into which he was to put stones and butter. Well, he did all this. He bought this well, quite beautiful vase. There's a earthen vase, earthen pitcher, earthen stoneware. Into it, he put stones and butter. He had melted the butter into order to pour it in. And it just solidified once it hit the cold rocks and the, the container. He tied a cloth over the top as he was instructed to do. It was heavy. He picked it up and carried it to the Buddha and set it down in front of him. The Buddha said, oh, this is great. Very, very beautiful choice on the earth and vessel. Now, you must carry this three times around the lake. Circumambulating something three times was considered very sacred. And of course, many people have heard this. And so the young man was not dismayed at all. This was the next instruction. But this earthen vessel was quite heavy, especially because it had stones and butter in it. Took him quite some time to circumambulate the lake. Three times he had to go around it. And finally, returning to the Buddha after the third time, he set the pot again down. The Buddha now said, okay, next, you must go into the lake. I will come to the shore and be close by. Carry it into the lake. So the young man, he carried this vessel into the lake. Get into the water until water is chest deep, the Buddha said. So the young man, he went into the water until the water was up to his chest. And the Buddha said, now, let the earthen vessel down. And the man let the vessel go down into the water and it sank, of course. But it was quite high, almost to the man's chest. Now the Buddha said, you must get a staff and with a single blow, you must break the vessel. <laughs> the young man, he was tired and worried. Could he really break this vessel? With one blow, it was partly underwater. But his father was, well, going to heaven, right? So he had to do this. He went to the shore. He got a sizable staff. Went back into the water, raised it over his head, and determined as he was, brought this hunk of wood down and cracked the vessel into many pieces. 
Now the Buddha had said that once he had cracked the vessel, if the stones float and the butter sinks, your father will have made it to heaven. All will be well. Well, the vessel broke and what happened? The butter rose to the surface. And of course, the stone sank to the bottom. The young man was quite upset. All this he had done and now his father had not made it to heaven. We came out of the water and went up to the Buddha and he's coming out of the water. He's starting to think about what had just happened. He goes to the Buddha and he says, you know, this doesn't make sense. You said the butter would sink and the stones would float, but this is against the laws of nature. Certainly this, this is not possible. The butter would naturally float and well, the stones would sink. The Buddha said, well, now that you know so much about natural law, then you would know that, well, if your father is like butter, he will float to heaven. And if he is not, if he's like those stones, then he will sink. The young man understood. There was nothing that he could do to ensure that his father would make it to heaven. It was on the merit of his deeds, whether he would make it into his next lifetime or his next place in this unified field. Where would he end up next? Okay, something to think about. Where will we end up next? Even in the next moment, what is it based on? Perhaps everything that we've done up until that point leads us into the next moment. Do we alter our future through right action, through good deeds, through being kind to others? Hmm. Interesting to think about. Interesting to wonder. Are we in an eternal flow of consciousness? And if we are, Hmm. We could embody anything. What would you wish for? What do you wish for? Okay, we'll stop this inquiry here. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening. Thanks for joining.